Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys the basics of the uh, Skip the Dishes Courier app. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm using the official instructions on the website since I do not have the access to the Courier app due to being region locked. But without further ado, let's get right into it. First, what you want to do once you've uh, get gotten your account verified and once you're an official uh, Skip the Dishes Courier, what you want to do is enter the application and check out the weekly publish schedule, which is the schedule of shifts, which you are available to take on. And once you're there, you will be able to see which shifts in the following week or two uh, are available. Then you can select the shifts and it's best to confirm those shifts uh, within 48 hours of the shift starting. So keep that in mind. And they are refreshed every Thursday. The uh, shifts for upcoming weeks are published every Thursday, so make sure you check it out. Uh, and those will be based on your availability. So you should submit your weekly availability by 11.59 p.m. on Wednesdays. You can even check uh, or set up your availability on the app, and then shifts will automatically be applied to you. But yeah, once you see which shifts you want, you can just go to your shifts tab in the Courier app, and then for both schedule and open shifts, uh, as I've said, best to confirm within 48 hours of the start time. Uh, to confirm, just go to my sh uh, shifts and tap on the check mark located to the right of the shift slot. Once prompted, tap confirm shift, and that is pretty much it. it. If you want to drop a shift, head to my shifts, see your upcoming shifts, tap on the X icon, and then tap on the drop shift button. Uh, do this before 48 hours ahead of your start time. Uh, and yeah, that is pretty much it. You can also end your shift once you've started it. Uh, you can edit it whenever you want and you can select the reason for ending your shift. Uh, all you have to do is click on the three vertical dots, located on the top right corner of the app and press end shift. And that's it for shifts. Uh, you can, as I said, pick up open shifts. However, I do recommend you check these uh, instructions out if you have anything else, but as I've said, you can set your availability. Uh, you can go to the schedule sh section of the app and navigate to availability, select a date and tap on the add icon, then pick your preferred start and end time for that date and then save your new availability. What you also need to do is uh, set up your uh, delivery zones, which is denoted here. Uh, as I've said uh, before, well, I haven't actually said it, but never mind. Uh, just a brain typo. Uh, but yeah, delivery zones are where you select where you can complete deliveries while on shift, and you uh, need to select the boundaries which best fit you so that you can uh, much more easily and effectively deliver things. Now, they are not conventional neighborhood boundaries, so you need to check the app, and that is pretty much it. All released shifts are for specific delivery zones, so make sure you check each shift when you uh, see it for the delivery zone to see if it fits uh, and yeah uh, you can also get the dashboard map and check out hotspots if you're on shift or when your status is set to available the dashboard map in the courier app displays your current location and also the zone boundaries and zones in gray have reached the maximum couriers when you set your status to available they'll notify you of uh, the need of more couriers if they do and the details of upcoming shifts starting in the next three hours appear on that dashboard. Then when you're on shift, delivery zone boundaries and hotspots also appear on the map. And hotspots are areas within the zone where you're likely to receive more orders. And to view the hotspots, you just tap the icon on the bottom right hand corner of the map. Now, I've already uh, told you about starting a shift. Uh, to get directions, just navigate to the navigation icon in the app. Uh, to get the directions and you can choose your preferred uh, navigation app as well uh, as an independent contractor uh, and you can take your preferred route and then while delivering keep an eye out for special delivery instructions uh, posted by restaurants and customers for picking up and dropping off orders uh, the acceptance rate uh, is a percentage of orders you accept and complete out of the last 10 you have received so make sure you don't decline offers that much uh, so that you have the well biggest possible acceptance rate uh, and yeah that's pretty much it uh, once you start your shift you can accept offers uh, by the methods I denoted previously you can then pick up orders at restaurants or vendors and deliver them to the customer and that is pretty much it you can also pause your shift if you need to take a break and you can resume it whenever you'd like uh, and once you're done you can just 
choose and shift at any time and your status will automatically update to offline excuse my phone uh for a second and yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed i'll be seeing you guys next time